That's that's very true. But in business and in in um, in the government, uh, many women women have to behave like men, be hard to be listened to. If you're soft and 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 mild, you know, you're just brushed away, unfortunately. But uh, what you said is is absolutely true. Females are stronger in their energy than males. Males are very, very afraid, especially of, of women who have high positions and high education. They are simply so afraid that they can become impotent and that's the worst thing that I think can happen to a man because they're so pennies fixed many times. But women can, you know, be on many, many fields and, and uh, they don't need this erection <laughs> that shows to a man that he's a man. That has to change. The fixing into that a, you, a man is, you know, the, his penis or something like that. The males have to learn to be more soft female uh, sort of attitudes and vice versa. Also, women have to learn some masculine traits, but not too many. We have to go into the balance, androgyne in a way that we are both, we have both. I mean, there are very many males who are with feminine traits or, or females with masculine traits. That's yeah. nothing wrong with that. But, but our society wants everybody to be a four because that's, yeah. you know, then you have everybody in control. Yeah. And everybody who goes out of control, who does things differently, if it's medicine, yeah. alternative medicine, yeah. oh no, no, this yeah. is, you know, dangerous. that's dangerous. We but don't want that because that cannot be controlled. It's exactly like Jesus said when he said, make the two one because we all have the male and the female side of, of ourselves. So we have to combine the female where we get all the inspiration and then get balance to the male side because manifestation, when we want to manifest anything, manifest anything into this dimension we're in now, we need both. We need, yeah. uh, that means if we make the two one in each of us, that means we will be able to, actually that's what the taking the power back means. We have to have balance in ourselves because then we become so powerful, we become so strong. And it's not about, you know, we become, it's the force, it's the love that actually will flow when we combine both sexes within ourselves. So we, that's also what the painting in the back means, you know, the two sides. We have to have the Eastern Hemispheres and the Western Hemispheres that meet intuition with the rational mind. So we will actually be whole again, we will be integrated right. into ourselves, into each other, because we will all be really one. That's right. And we have to remember that the light body is neutral. It's both male and female, and that's what we are. And it's eternal. That's very, very important, because that changes the thinking and the fate and everything. Anything that happens to anybody, it changes because you know that you are eternal. You are an eternal energy, eternal soul. You cannot die and in different lifetimes you take different bodies. A male body once, a female body once. You die young once, you die in middle ages once, you die, die uh, in old age once. In different, different, different scenarios. On this planet and then there's the vast universe, what we're doing on the other planets. And when we are meeting so-called ETs, mm. we actually are meeting ourselves in the future. So, you know, the expansion of our worldview, the expansion of our life, that's the goal. And it has to come with love. And when you talk about light body that we, when we have our light body and when we meet love and so, um, I just experienced something very, uh, I would say, it's it's wonderful, it, extreme, you know, it's it's a so lovely soul, I would say, spirit or energy in a woman in another country. Of course, there's a kind of language. Sometimes I don't understand everything and, and so it is. But we were talking about desire, uh, you know, the desire. She asked me if I had a desire and I said, no, I, I cannot have a desire because she's so much more because her light body, her energy is so bigger. And, and desire was, you know, that's kind of the penis thing. Uh, it it's would, physical. Yeah, it's physical. Yeah. It's it's more with the uh, thing with the, the penis, yeah. uh, you know. Physical love. Yeah. yeah. Physical sex. Yeah, but the other thing here, it's so much more. It's so much what I would s describe as pure love, universal love, and you know, it doesn't really matter how she looks, what she looks like, and anything. Uh, and then I saw 
how she looks, and she looks like an angel. That's okay. You have to. That's just a bonus, you can say. But it, 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 it really the energy. It's the, it's the light. It's the light, and we are light. You know. That's right. It, and when you, when you meet the light, you resonate with. It's just it become a huge light. You know. It's, it's like, lightning. Yeah, that's right. It is a lightning. And it takes us out to the universe. I don't know if I'm repeating myself, but I think we, we keep coming back to it's love we need. It's love the world needs. We, we, need, we need love. We need to... How can we put it? We don't have to put it because um, there are no words actually yeah. for the greatest things that happen within the heart of the human person. Uh, what it is, what we need to do is, is to make people aware, 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 aware that they are eternal light, they are eternal energy, they cannot die and the whole world's and our individual's development to higher realms is the goal. And that's it. And the extreme final goal is the universal love where we are all one like a droplet in the ocean and the droplet in the ocean today doesn't necessarily know that it is part of the ocean like we don't know as human beings in a vehicle of, of the body that we are all one in the energy and that's it we are all one thank you <laughs> thank you